Hello, all. Welcome back. Uh, so we continue our discussion exploring the key CAD free open source software in design, analyzing, and simulation of variety of electronic circuits and systems. And in that series, uh, today we are going to talk about uh, one additional feature of KiCad schematic editor. So as you can see on your screen, uh, I have drawn this schematic uh, for my electronic design. So I've got these suppression amplifiers, I've got these power supplies, uh, input uh, voltage source. There is one voltage source right here that I want to use somewhere here. And then right here, there is one register. So I want, let's say, uh, four such registers to make a bridge circuit, you know. So we know that Vistron bridge, for example. And uh, so we'll talk about uh, that also in a moment. But before that, uh, let's say you can see that on your on on this schematic, uh, you have placed all the components and the and the uh, devices and the Mac uh, and the operation amplifier. So I clicked here and uh, I zoom chose zoom to objects. So control home and where I can see now all the schematic. But you see that when I was creating this schematic uh, and I was connecting all components to each other, uh, there was this uh, uh, field of uh, the particular device or component that you can see that when I move, it shows me what it is associated with. So this is uh, U1 is uh, label of the part operation amplifier. You can see that there is this line connecting here. So that got actually misplaced. Similarly here, you see the register R2, but the value is right over here. So if I select it with the mouse and try to move, you see that where it is. It should be right over here, right? But it got, in, in doing and drawing the schematic, it got misplaced. And similarly, this also you see that uh, is right over here. The VDD is coming right here. Um, and VSS, VSS, look. VSS is right here, it should be right here. So doing it all one by one will take a lot of time uh, if you have so many components, so many devices on the schematic sheet. Here also V2, where it the V2 should be, we don't know where it should be here, whether it should be up uh, when you move, whether it should be down or in the center or left or right, we don't know. So doesn't matter in uh, drawing the schematic and uh, connecting uh, wires if the fields get misplaced what you can do is uh, just uh, have a schematic uh, as shown and then on your computer keyboard place control a so it means after placing uh, you uh, pressing control a all the schematic got selected other option is just click on the schematic right click your mouse and here select all so you got this uh, everything on the screen got selected and then right click your mouse button and here you can come back to find this option auto place fields so now before i place the mouse button on this one or i can simply also uh, click o on my computer key keypad right so before i select this you uh, have a look at the schematic in the background and as soon as i will press this button you will see all the fields that got misplaced they will be auto placed at their original position by default uh, so it will look good your schematic will look good will look organized and arranged and that's what we want so let me raise the button and i encourage you to have a look at what's going to happen in the background look at the schematic as soon i as soon as i place that button again i will show you that I place the control Z now. So undo action and then control Y. You can see the changes. Earlier it was like this and now it is all things are auto placed now. The register value is just right here. The ground pin, the ground pin. And uh, you see that this VDD is got back. VSS is right here. V2 is in the middle. Now it got right here. And after doing that, what you can do, go back here zoom to objects and 
everything is looking perfect, nicely organized. Now, let's say I want to make a bridge and I want to have four registers. This is the second uh, aspect of KCAD. So one problem, we solved it like auto place field. That is one feature we, we informed you about. Now, I will just make control C, control V and I want to use the four copies of it. So again, control V and I want to use the four copies of it. So I want to make a bridge. So again, zoom to objects. So here and again, control V. So right over here. Okay. So you see now uh, I have got this bridge connections. I want to uh, connect them all together. Connect them all together. Use the wire maybe. Okay. And here also I want to use the wire to do so. And then right over here, right over here, right over here. Okay, and then simply like this. Now, uh, for a Western bridge, for example, uh, this is the way I can arrange in the keycad my register. But what if this is like a, a 90 degree angle and the zero degree angle? So if I double click this register, I see that it's symbol properties, the angle is either zero or plus 90 or minus 90 or 180. So I can have its placement either horizontal or vertical. And then maybe I can mirror it around X axis or Y axis. But I wanted it to look like a 45 degree angle so that it will have a Wiston bridge that what we have seen uh, in our schematic, in our studies and the schematics. So look, zero degree angle. So if I choose like this, and if I select like this, so it is like this. And then if I double click and maybe let's say plus 90 degree, if I click, look, this is how it got, okay. Uh, so control Z again. So I don't see in KiCad option to make the angle 45 degree so that uh, I can. So if I right click on this component, I have all these options. Transform selection. I can rotate it clockwise and uh, uh, maybe rotate it clockwise here. So counterclockwise, if I select it, it goes like that, right? So again, let me just control Z. And let's right click here, go to transform selection and here. So I can either have its horizontal or vertical, but not with an angle of 45 degrees. So um, I don't know uh, how to do it. So here again in the properties, the angle options is not there. So maybe in KiCad, that's a good option to suggest the community and the creator. What if I want to have the angle of the symbol, 45 degree or something like that, okay? So that was the information we wanted to pass to you. The two features, uh, the one is useful and one is not that useful. So if I want to create a Western bridge out of it, I want to have a placement of it uh, registers in an angle of 45, I can't have it either zero or 90 or 180 or whatever. Uh, that's the only option I have. But second, auto field option is useful here. Okay. So hope you found this model useful. If you did so, share it with others. And till then, wish you happy learning.